I uh, started at a young age to be interested in other countries uh, because uh, I come from a family of seven and one day uh, a pastor, an American pastor who was uh, having a mission in Tanzania uh, was leaving and going back to America and he brought a whole load of books uh, that he gave to our family. And uh, at that time, we did not have a library. We did not have really any books. We had a few uh, copies of books that we all shared. And uh, in the library that he, sh he gave to us where it was an encyclopedia with all the volumes. And so I started to read. I was probably about seven at the time. And I started to read the encyclopedias and got really uh, immersed in different countries and dreamed a lot of how I would one day uh, be able to live, maybe work in those countries. But I was also very struck about how some of them appeared to be having uh, more challenging situations than we had in Tanzania. And my parents asked me at the time, what would you like to do? I said, I'd like to be a teacher. And uh, where would you like to teach? I said, in China. I said, why China? I said, because they have a lot of people. And so at that age, that was my understanding that I wanted to be in a place where I could have big impact and in a subject area that uh, produced uh, better value. And in, in my case, at the age, it was teaching. So that's my very first interest in development. I had no idea that I'd end up working at the World Bank and having Im influence on country policies or even investing in developing countries and having impact on the private sector. So philanthropy from a development point of view is uh, actions, investments and influences that deliver a result that goes beyond what you would uh, make a profit out of. Uh, so it's an, it's an action, a positive action to get change or results without necessarily getting something back. And I, I, I use this definition because it distinguishes from what I understood philanthropy to mean in my own family and context where you are expected to take care of your brothers and your sisters and your community. So this is something that you do because that's what we do. So philanthropy for me personally has to go beyond that to do something that will have an impact on a, a number of people's lives without necessarily benefiting you other than feeling that you have done something worthwhile. In my experience in development, uh, I have learned a, a tremendous amount uh, of what is valuable in terms of combining different instruments uh, from development aid, uh, private investment, and then the important role that philanthropy can play as a partner to development aid but also to private investment. Because to achieve some of the results that we would like to have in terms of impact on jobs, impact on women, uh, transforming the energy profiles of the companies, this is something that investors normally would not uh, care really about. But because we've been able to tell the story in terms of how we are going about investing, we have also attracted people who are in philanthropy who want to make a return so that the returns can be redeployed into other uh, activities. And so we're able to blend in a very interesting way the same principles of private equity between traditional investment and philanthropy. And I think to me this is brilliant because it's something that uh, can generate the resources that are needed uh, to invest in other areas in a sustainable way. I'm inspired by being able to see things change. I get very excited when I can see a tra trajectory of change. Um, I, there are many things to do in the world. It's, uh, it's just not a, there isn't enough time <laughs> to get all the things done. So I'm inspired by possibility. I'm inspired by trajectory of change that is visible over a period of time. But perhaps the most important thing I'm inspired is by the innovation that I see and the, and the hope I see in people's eyes. And the concrete examples I have where with a little bit of support, people can go to enormous, enormous uh, uh, impact and, and results in their own lives, but also in the lives of other people. And that just inspires me every day because it's, it's almost limitless what people can do when they have the opportunity.